Hi, in this video, we will learn what is inheritance in Java. It is a concept of object oriented programming in Java. So, first of all, why do we need inheritance? So, for that, let us first understand our problem statement. Now, suppose I give you a task to create the class of dog and also the class of cat. So, for that purpose, what you will do? You will simply define the class of dog with some properties name and also its behavior such as bark and run. And similarly for the cat, you will define the class cat with some properties and also some behavior such as mew and run. Now in both the class of dog and cat, we have some differences such as in case of dog, we have the color and in case of cat, we have some colored patterns, right? And also a dog barks and a cat meow. But if you notice one thing, in both the class of dog and cat, we have few properties and few behavior in common, such as a dog has a name and also the cat has a name. Now regarding the behavior, you will find some similarity as well. The dog can run and also the cat, right? So in both the case, we have some code repetition. Now a good programmer always try to minimize his code by reducing the code redundancy. So here if you notice, in case of dog and cat, there is one thing in common. They both are animal. So why don't we create a class of animal? So here if I define the class of animal, then all animal has a name and all animal can run, right? Now if you notice, this property and the behavior is common in case of dog and cat as well. So why don't we write our code in such a way that the class of dog and class of cat will get the property of animal. So here comes the inheritance into the picture. So to get the properties of animal into the class of dog, we need to write this code. Class dog extends animal. Now when we use the keyword of extend, this means that we are inheriting all the property of animal into the dog. So the class dog will get the string name and behavior of run into the class of dog. So we no longer need to define string name and void run again within the class of dog. Now the same thing applies for the class cat as well. So here if you notice, we can remove the string name and the public void run by using the concept of inheritance. So class cat extends animal and we will keep only those properties that belongs to the class cat and rest of the property we will inherit from the class of animal such as name and run. So this concept of inheriting the property from one class into another is known as inheritance in Java. Now this class of dog and class of cat are actually known as the subclass or the child class. And this class of animal and again this class of animal is actually known as the superclass or base class or the parent class. Now the concept of inheritance you can correlate with your day to day life. Like you get few of the properties from your parents, right? Similarly here as well the class dog and class cat are getting few of the properties from the class of animal. As simple as that. Now that you have understood the concept of inheritance, here is a question for you. If a pen and a scale are child classes, then what could be their most preferred parent class? Answer in the comment section below. One lucky winner would receive an exciting Internshala Trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about inheritance in Java. This video is a part of Internshala Trainings core Java training program. And to learn the basic concepts of Java and object oriented programming, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned.